hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how to do this skull look i did it like two months ago but i never had time to edit the video and i just wanted to show you guys real quick how i i did this video and how you can achieve this video so i started off with a flat brush and also black snazzy root paint So you're going to start off by drawing um, the cheekbones of the skull, of course, uh, well, kind of like their Elvis sideburns. Uh, Daisy told me that I looked like Elvis after I had done this because Daisy was recording this video for me and I'm pretty sure it was like two months ago because this video is super old. Well then. I filled in with black the sideburns or whatever and I looked really like Elvis and I was I started laughing because it was so accurate and I had my hair slicked back and everything so then I started off with this white face paint but I didn't really like the texture of it because it was a clown paint and it wasn't really white snazz root paint like I normally use so then I just eventually switched back to the regular white paint because the clown paint was too clumpy and hard to even out. So what I did was filled in the rest of my face with the white and not really around the eyes because I would later be using it and then I did about like three layers of white so I can even all of it and then with the high density sponge I even did all out. I suggest you can use baby powder to settle it all down if you want it to last longer. And then with a round paintbrush and black snatch root paint I drew in some cheekbones well like the little curve of the cheekbones and I also drew in some oval shaped crooked on purpose black eye sockets and then I do the freaking OCD I have it made me like freaking did not want to edit this video because the cheekbone on the on the left side was not on right because I did not fit it in but I later filled it in and then I also drew a crack on my forehead and I did these little things on my eyebrows and then I filled in my nose but it partially had like a crack in it and then I started off with drawing like these little oval shapes like half oval shapes kind of like look like a mouse kind of but I later figured out that this wasn't really the way I wanted the skull to look like and now that I'm re-watching this video I now know like what I can do differently and what I did differently and then I just started drawing on the teeth but now I know that it's better to use um, eyeliner pencils and stuff because it's easier to like blend out with the white and it looks more easier and neater and you can also do this you don't have to paint your, pa your face white and you can do more of a scarier look with your natural skin And then I think I I don't even know I drew like cracks on my face to make it look cooler and make these white spaces not there and then for this effect I used black black um black snatch root paint high density sponge but now I know that I can use black eyeshadow instead so I can make shadows around the eyes and what I'm drawing on right now I could do it with black eyeshadow and it would look way better so then I repeat the same process on the other side of my face and then I just start fixing my teeth and patting down more white paint and adding more features 
So this concludes my video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Three fourth, Yongchong, China. Walk to me. Walk to me. Walk to me. Yes, man. Work it, bitch. Work it. You get the street, but. <laughs> mm. Bloopers.